Welcome back to CBS 12 News at 9. You may know him as the godfather of MTV, but this reality star is taking his talents to the ring. Yeah, reality star Mark Long is making his wrestling debut this weekend for the Boca Raton Championship Wrestling. Really excited about this event and excited that Mark is here to talk about it with us. We're going to get we got a belt here. We're going to talk all about that <laughs> yeah. coming up. Uh, first, I want to talk about reality TV, man. You were there at right at the beginning stages, really, where this current era of reality TV started, right? I mean, yeah. real world for a couple years, and then Road Rules, there you were there on that first season. My original season of Road Rules is 1995, wow. so I'm 74 years old. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, but then I went on to do... Um, a lot of the challenges, I hosted a challenge, I did the after show on MTV, which then led me a couple years ago to pitch All Stars for Paramount Plus. We just shot our third season, it was a huge hit, and uh, people are rallying behind it. A lot of the older faces from MTV are showing up. It's classic 90s music. Um, I got to do Worst Cooks on Food <laughs> Network last year. How'd you do that? I did pretty well. For not knowing anything about food, I did pretty well. My, my chef was Ann Burrell, who was very mean to me. Okay. Um, but now it's like, I'm starting to produce more. I've been a huge wrestling fan forever. The Miz, one of my best friends, has been in WWE for years. And, uh, you know, two of my best friends, Matt Mashler and Neil the Heel, uh, are co-owners of this new BRCW, the Boca Raton Championship Wrestling. So I'm super excited, and Sunday's going to be a blast. Yeah, I mean, we're talking about four decades here. Oh, yeah. With the challenge. Yes. I mean, what keeps you coming back? You just did the All-Star Season 3. I mean, this is like a family now at this point, I'm sure. You know what it is? It's, it's funny you say that because I actually get approached by fans who are like, I actually grew up with you. Because I've been doing, I've done challenges in the past four decades. From the 90s, 2000, 2010s, and now 2020. Um, I always loved competition. I try to keep myself in tip-top shape, to, you know, to cut, you know, bad or have to, you know, head-to-head -head with people. But it's just such a fun family, and uh, I appreciated uh, Buda Murray, who's been my production company uh, partner for years. And uh, I don't know, man. I am MTV. I love it. <laughs> I, it's like great. You know, I think like, you know, there are kids growing up now. This is a clear dream to be as on like a reality TV show like this. But I mean, when you back then, when you you, you tried off the real world, right? right? And then you got on that first yeah. season of of Road Rules. Do you have any idea about what it was going to turn into? No, because it's funny, um, like now with social media and your phones to submit videos, I remember I had to like go shoot the video of my camcorder and then edit it like with the old school at the University of Florida. So, so it's a lot more accessible, I think, today. But back then, like you set it off in the mail and you waited for your home phone. I didn't have cell phones. So it's really evolved. I think the production quality has evolved. For us, the competitions have evolved on the challenge from, you know, melting ice with my butt in a Speedo <laughs> to now jumping out of helicopters. So the production value has grown immensely. But I've always said, if you want to be in a, in a reality show and you are passionate about, you know, your, your being yourself and personality, be yourself. Never try to go to an audition and be someone different because you never know what they're looking for. What's, and it's fun. What's been your favorite part of your experience uh, in the reality world? Probably the, just the camaraderie of the cast members that I've known for years now. Even I, Kit, for my original Road Rules, I did Access Hollywood last month with her and Mario, and like, it doesn't skip a beat. When I see her, it's like we've known each other and seen each other every day the past 20 years. But I would say the camaraderie and just the fact that I've gotten to see so many different places internationally that I never would have. We shot in Trinidad and Tobago. Um, they've shot in Thailand, Brazil, um, Dominican Republic. I was just down in Panama and... Um, you know, all these amazing places that I would never on my own be like, oh, I'm going to go there for seven weeks and right. right. hang out, but it's, it's amazing. So why wrestling now? Yeah. Oh, well, I'm a huge wrestling fan, and apparently the word on the street is there's this wrestler down there named Noah Kay, okay. and he's apparently got a problem with reality okay. stars coming, so okay. I'm showing up Sunday, and if he's got a problem with me, we might have to just handle it right there in the ring. Okay. So that's that's what's going wow. on on all Sunday. Right. Do you have like a, some kind of name? You have a name? Yeah, you have a wrestling name? Just a godfather. Godfather, 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 godfather. Like coming that. out to Marky Mark. Mark's good vibrations. <laughs> um, it's good. My entrance music. Uh, we got some of the details uh, right now about the huge event coming up on Sunday. Again, that's uh, you can find out more information Boca Raton Wrestling.com. It's not just your match though. It's a night full. Oh, it's it's, it's nine matches. Uh, we have Hall of Famer. He's the commissioner. Brutus the Barber. Beefcake's going to be there. All the wrestlers out of there have either wrestled in AEW or NXT or WWE. So it's going to be a great event. Um, like I said. Boca Raton Championship Wrestling. We got the belt here to show it off. Yeah. I know. Uh, this is the actual replica of the real belt. Got it, it's heavy. <laughs> That's going up for grabs Sunday night in one of the matches. Um, but it's going to be fun. It's family friendly. It's at the YMCA and Boca Raton Championship Wrestling. Um, but it's going to be great. And uh, like I said, you guys come out. It's a it's a great live show. 
Matt and uh, Neil the Heel do it right, and it's amazing. It's free food, catered, all that good stuff. Are you training for this? Yeah, I'm gonna say, are you good. ready? You know, I feel like I my life has been training for this. Okay. Um, but I will go down Saturday and do some mat work. Um, I was gonna maybe show you just a simple uh, thing if you were up for that. Uh, yeah, sure. I mean, I'm so sure. this is this is. <laughs> I'm going to show you the proper lockup, right? Okay. So when they, they stare at each other, yep. so my right hand and your right hand, mm -hmm. it goes to the shoulder, so boom, boom, but at the same time, you lock your other hand over. Okay. So it all happens at once, so it's boom, <laughs> and, you, and you have to sell it, so we're, we're ready? Ready? So that is, that is, he just did it perfectly. Right. I just told you uh, something. But everything, everything, um, it's kid friendly, they're doing it right, um, it puts kind of like the YMC on the map, as well as the Boca Raton Championship Wrestling. This is their second event. We're doing another one November 6th. Awesome. Um, but it's going to be fun. Man. It's a great preview, too. We're yeah. going to take a break here. Stick with us here for a little Absolutely. bit. Absolutely. We're going to have a lot more with our Mark Long. Coming up next, right here at CBS Home News. Don't go anywhere.